Happy Mother's Day. Today we celebrate the Divine Feminine. It is said that there are two holidays that are the most emotionally packed holidays that we have, Mother's Day and Father's Day. For we each carry with us hmm, beliefs, ideas, history, wounds, things that we'd like to forgive. So it's a difficult day for many, even for those who, who absolutely adored everything about their mothers, perhaps their mothers are gone. So today together, we are going to do our very best to hold this day in a different way. And to begin with the radical roots of Mother's Day. I love this. We know we love everything radical, right? <laughs> so the roots of Mother's Day were actually radical. In 1870, a Unitarian, Julia Ward Howe, wrote a proclamation. And this was in response to the horrible carnage of our own Civil War, which had just ended five years previously, and which our nation was still healing from. And it was in reaction to the Franco-Prussian War, which was just beginning. And at that time, we didn't know what our involvement might be. And so Julia Ward Howe wrote this proclamation urging all women to stand together in peace. She wanted, her initiative was that June 2nd of every day, of every year, be Mother's Day for Peace. That was her proclamation. And she stated this in three simple statements. Our sons shall not be taken from us to learn all that we have been able to teach them of charity, mercy, and patience. We, the women of one country, will be too tender of those of another country to allow our sons to be trained to injure theirs. From the bosom of the devastated earth, a voice goes up with our own. It says, disarm. Disarm. And this was an initiative that went on for 25 years. And then a few years later, a Methodist woman by the name of Ann Jarvis campaigned to have a national Mother's Day. And she was successful in having that day named in 1917, 100 years ago. We celebrate the 100-year anniversary of Mother's Day. <laughs> Yay! And so let's, so let's enjoy some writings that I was able to glean that will bring us into the spirit that we would like to enjoy for Mother's Day. Things our mothers taught us. Logic. Because I said so, that's why. <laughs> to appreciate a job well done. If you're going to kill each other, do it outside. I just finished cleaning. Religion, you better pray that comes out of the carpet. <laughs> Foresight, make sure you wear clean underwear in case you're in an accident. <laughs> Irony, stop crying or I'll give you something to cry about. Contortionism, will you look at the dirt on the back of your neck? Stamina, you'll sit there till you finish that plate. Weather, it looks as if a tornado swept through your room. <laughs> Hypocrisy, if I've told you once, I've told you a million times, stop exaggerating. <laughs> Roots, do you think you were born in a barn? <laughs> Anticipation, just wait until your father gets home. 
And finally, justice. One day, you will have children. <laughs> they will be just like you. And then there are the things that our children taught us. If you spray hairspray on dust bunnies and run them over with roller, roller blades, they can't ignite. A three-year-old's voice is louder than 200 adults in a crowded restaurant. You should not throw baseballs up when the ceiling fan is on. <laughs> if you do throw baseballs up when the ceiling fan is on, it may take several tries before it catches. When the fan does catch a baseball, it goes a long way. Windows, even double pane, will not stop a baseball hit by a ceiling fan. When you hear the toilet flush and the words, uh-oh, it's already too late. <laughs> a six-year-old can start a fire with a flint rock, even though a 46-year-old man will tell you it can only be done in the movies. Play-Doh and microwave should never be used in the same sentence. <laughs> Super glue is forever. No matter how much jello you put in a swimming pool, you cannot walk on water. <laughs> swimming pool filters do not like jello. VCRs do not eject peanut butter jelly sandwiches, even though the TV commercials will show you that they do. You always look in the oven before you turn it on. Plastic toys do not like ovens. The spin cycle on the washing machine does not make earthworms dizzy. It does make cats dizzy. Cats throw up twice their body weight when they are dizzy. <laughs> you laugh. You laugh because you see yourself in that. Or as Eileen will say, you laugh because you know it's true. We do. We recognize ourselves, our parents, our children. We also recognize that this is a day that we have those emotions within us that are ready for another layer of healing. For that is who we are as individuals. We learn, we grow, we heal. And Mother's Day is a beautiful day to allow emotions to come forth for us that are ready to be healed. And let me ask you, how many of you had mothers? Show of hands. <laughs> right. We are celebrating you today. We are celebrating the very fact that you are here, that you were birthed, that you are alive. And today we are also revising the concept of motherhood of expanding those, those boundaries or those previously conceived borders, or revising the concept of family. And this church family, this congregation, welcomes all families, however they have been constructed, uniquely, individually theirs. We also are celebrating the divine feminine, for the divine feminine is an energy, it's an essence, it's a principle. It is that energy, essence, principle that is the creation of life. It is that feminine energy that allows us to love, that recognizes love and expresses that, I would say, emotion, but it's so much more than an emotion. The divine feminine has been celebrated from the beginning of time. You know, our written history, as far back as we can go, we find where there have been goddesses, fertility, nature, Mother Earth, Gaia. And before our written history, there are symbols of women. There are, are figurines of women showing that they have been revered Throughout time, the energy of the female has been revered even if the female themselves have not. We turn to scripture, and we find very few women in the Bible, for it was a very patriarchal time. And yet, as we look at Isaiah, which is in the Hebrew scriptures, the oldest scriptures, we find the essence, the energy 
of women being revered. We're looking at Isaiah 66, the 13th verse. As one whom his mother comforts, so I will comfort you. As one whom his mother comforts, so I will comfort you. God, Yahweh, the Lord God was very much seen as a masculine father image. And here this female energy gift is being embraced and being stated as an aspect, as a power of an energy of a masculine. I think that that is remarkable. That was acknowledged and, and placed in the sacred writings. Today we have a special video to share with you, hot off the press. It's an ode to women. It was created by the Empty Hands music company that we know was created by Nemo, who will be arriving here tomorrow, in case you don't know that, in case you haven't heard that already. <laughs> And so let us enjoy this creation, Ode to Women. A simple rhyme in these complicated times is hard to come by To tell the truth I'm kinda stunned by You know I used to think the soul could only take so much But now I realize that it only takes your touch Teach me how to go against the grain with grace Can't you see? Humanity should plant its seeds in the smile of your face Quietly without expectation Without the need for others' approval and affirmation See you laid the foundation Since the beginning of time And right now, I only wish that I could press rewind And take back any pain I've ever caused you Now I pause to think about life if I lost you but enough of all that, it's time to celebrate Cause every moment that we live to you We dedicate and truth be told Cause you can see it in my eyes A genuine thank you Cause you're the woman in you our lives uh, Women, it will be such a struggle without you Couldn't imagine how I would ever make it through The beauty that you bring to my life is so true That's why I appreciate you You are our women It will be such a struggle without you Couldn't imagine how I would ever make it through The beauty that you bring to my life is so true that's why I appreciate Yo. you. You are our women. You're like an aberration of my imagination. There's no exaggeration to describe my adoration for all the things that you bring to our lives. When I look in your eyes, I see the past and the future. From the mother to the wife, you the giver of life. And from the daughter to the sister, you the lifter of strife. You the pati, the auntie, the shakti, the shanti, maharani. I'm so lucky just to have so many of you in my life. Look at now, me with that smile sweeter than honey. And it's never been a moment I've had to doubt that you love me. Even though I'm crazy and sometimes I don't have a clue But as a man, there's certain things I just have to do And I appreciate how even when you can't relate How you always seem to take my word with trust and have faith You're the picture of patience, the definition of love And no matter how much we tell you, it can never you be enough We love you. women, it would be such a struggle without you Couldn't imagine how I could ever make it through All the beauty that you bring to my life is so true That's why I appreciate you You are all women, it would be such a struggle without you 
couldn't imagine how I could ever make it through. All the beauty that you bring to my life is so true. That's why I appreciate you. You are my women. Kem apni chori apni bachar chale che kem apru dachu nu jem abato sachu hoy to mane ke tya desh ma rata tha. Apni chori nu prem to joya bagar chor nu jem apre leta tha ne abe tam. Every time I close my eyes, I dream of visions of beautiful queens that walk by my side. I hold your hand in this town, put you on the highest pedestal, like the point on the peak of the mountain, and never let it go. Mummy, the myth of my shakti cho, but Kwan ne to the mari mari bhakti lo. I pray to God that you never run out of my life, 'cause I see too many ego men living adamant strife. You're the catalyst in times like these. I think twice. Me friji vakat no jingi mari jingi is your life. That's right. You're the testament proof and birth certificate. Yes, you're the way. Women in our lives. Thanks for listening. Yeah, listen. It would be such a struggle without you. Couldn't imagine how I would ever make it through. The beauty that you bring to my life is so true. That's why I appreciate you. You are our women. It would be such a struggle without you. Couldn't imagine how I would ever make it through. The beauty that you bring to my life is so true. That's why I appreciate you. You are our women. 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 This is truly hot off the presses. We just received it Thursday, <laughs> and that is what inspired. We wanted to have flowers when you entered, so and that is why we had flowers on the pathway, so you would feel honored as a woman or as a person. And so we bring to a close this Mother's Day service with this prayer. This was written by Unitarian Universalist minister by the name of Victoria. Weinstein. Prayer for all who mother. We reflect in Thanksgiving this day for all those whose lives have nurtured ours, the life-giving ones who heal with their presence, who listen with sympathy, who give wise advice, but only when asked for it. We are grateful for all those who have mothered us, who have held us gently in times of sorrow, who celebrated with us our triumphs, no matter how small, who noticed when we changed and grew and praised us for taking risks, who took genuine pride in our success, and who expressed genuine compassion when we did not succeed. On this day that honors mothers, let us honor all mothers, men and women alike, who, from somewhere in their being, have freely and wholeheartedly given life and sustenance and vision to all. Dear God, Mother, Father of us all, grant us life-giving ways, strength for birthing, and a nurturing spirit. That we may take attentive care of our world, our communities, and those precious beings entrusted to us by biology or by destiny, by friendship, fellowship, or fate. Give us the heart of a mother today. Amen. And so it is. Happy Mother's Day.